Good morning. This should be the video preview video for Renault Clarence. Uh, this is a very straightforward uh, lecture note, uh, or this would be a very straightforward preview video because most of the material you already know. I will just may give you a brief review of the material. First, may we have to know what is what are the major mechanism that the mechanisms that are involved uh, uh, in the drug excretion by the kidney and uh, how different mechanism influence drug excretion. First let's go over this structure, the concept. You know that all the drugs or anything uh, nutrients gets filtrated here in the glomerular capillaries. So this everything enters here urine goes through this and then during this process some of the drug or nutrient can reabsorb and some are excreted so this process is called glomerular filtration filtration and this one would be called reabsorption reabsorption and this is excretion secretion this is called secretion so uh, to explain so you better understand this our process or, or you can review the this process of Glomerular filtration. I have an animation to show you. Urine is formed by three processes in the nephron, the functional part of the kidney. In glomerular filtration, the glomerulus filters water and certain dissolved substances from the plasma of the blood. This results in increased blood pressure, which forces the plasma-like fluid from the blood into Bowman's capsule and then into the tubules. The fluid or filtrate include many positive and negative ions of many elements. The filtrate does not have any proteins or red blood cells, which are too large to pass through the capillary membrane. In tubular reabsorption, substances are transported out of the tubules and back into the blood of the peritubular capillaries. Reabsorption takes place in the proximal tubule, loop of Henle, and distal tubule. The major part of reabsorption occurs in the proximal tubule. About 15% of water is reabsorbed back into the bloodstream. So, as you have seen, there are three major processes. Filtration, reabsorption, and secretion. These three more major processes you have to remember. To understand how these three major processes influence drug excretion, glomerular filtration, active uh, secretion, tubular secretion, and reabsorption. As you can, un as you remember, this glomerular filtration removes drug from the blood for excretion in the urine. Then tubular reabsorption takes excreted tubular reabsorption excreted or filtered drug into the blood and tubular filtration remove only small molecule so one thing I want you to remember so if you think about total clearance total amount of total drug excreted you can think about this filtration plus secretion and minus reabsorption. If you remember this simple relationship, everything is going to be easy, especially for calculation again. This you have to have filtration plus secretion, you add minus reabsorption. 
and most of those uh, stop most of this secretion filtration and reabsorption are related to the or especially filter especially secretion and reabsorption influence the overall amount of drug excreted so here we'll see first this is by ex drug excretion by filtration this is the equation we will be using so that means this also it is showing r is clearance renal clearance but it is only by filtration in this case you have to take into fraction unbound drug and glomerular filtration rate gfr gfr is usually 100 20 milliliter per minute so when if there is uh, the plasma protein binding one lead C CLR of a drug as get one lead filter with no plasma protein binding so when F is equal to 1 there is no plasma protein binding this clearance by filtration is going to be same as GFR that means glomerular filtration rate which is 120 milliliter if there is for example 10 percent free drug then you can see it, it, it is going to decrease when drug is only 10 percent here in this case if it is 10 percent CLR CLR that means clearance by filtration volume would be 10 percent of GFR this is a major concept will use in uh, various calculation so now markers of GFR how we can measure GFR so we need something which only uh, undergo filtration no reabsorption as so one of those markers are creatinine and another is inulin we will use creatinine creatinine is endogenous compound of muscle metabolism and Inulin is exogenous compound of multiple mass exogenous compound which you are administered We administer to measure uh, GFR so but uh, for our class we will mainly focus on creatinine And also you remember one Concept that creatinine is produced from muscle mass at a constant level so it, it also gives a steady state concentration in the plasma as as creatinine is produced from the muscle mass so as you can imagine this will creatinine level will be influenced by the body weight so now to calculate creatinine clearance from urine we will use this equation creatinine clearance and this is CSS is the amount of creatinine or creatinine concentration in the serum so first uh, in this case for example I will go over uh, this material in the class you see this 24 hour urine volume in a patient was 50, 1500 milliliter and then it, uh, the question is asking you to calculate the rate of renal excretion so and that creatinine concentration of the creatinine was this much one one point three eight so you just multiply this and then this will give you rate rate means that in terms of time or hour that this many much milligram was estimated per minute or per hour and then you can put this data here and I'll go over this uh, calculation again in the class so this is how you calculate creatinine clearance for creatinine clearance we, we have to know the urinary excretion rate of the creatinine and then so this is only if you want to determine creatinine clearance using urine data that means if let's go over this that means you have to collect urine for 24 hour you have to collect amount of creatinine in the urine 
it's a it's a time consuming process for this reason we have another method which is urinal method is time consuming this is time consuming and it's inconvenient because you have to collect urine for 24 hours so for this reason we have two different method equation you can use an equation or you can use nomogram these are the equation uh, i guess in dds1 you have learned those equations so um, uh, i'll go over this equation again another so these are two equation and then as creatine clearance are influenced by the body weight gender for this reason there is another parameter we have to add is called ideal body weight and this ideal body weight for this these are the equation for ideal body weights and then if only one thing you have to remember if the total body weight is less than if total body weight is less than the we use the total body weight ideal body weight is we can apply when it is more than total body weight if it is less than total body weight we just don't use the actual body weight and another method is called nomogram method in case of nomogram you will have this nowadays there are a lot of web based program you can just go and check uh, the calculate the creative influence how it works for example you have to know the weight of the patient patient age sorry patient age and the weight assume that my someone who is 45 year old 45 year old and then he has a weight of 120 kilo you draw a line like this and this you see this intersects this line r so from this line you draw another line that means he has a serum creatine in about 2.5 and then if you draw another line is going to be below 50 creatine clearance so this gives you an idea but nowadays now you can just go wipe if you search it creatine clearance there's calculator or you just put the age white and serum creatine it will give you creatine clearance so another important concept or calculation you will be using that you have to determine if this clearance or renal clearance involve any tubular secretion or reabsorption as you can imagine i was telling you that total excretion is equal to filtration plus excretion minus reabsorption reabsorption so if we have to first calculate we have to first calculate always filtration clearance by filtration so if that clearance clearance by filtration is greater than this is clearance by filtration is what c l r is equal to f u times g f r this will give you clearance by filtration so if you see if you after calculation of the clearance by after calculation or you have data that for example this clearance by filtration is uh, in this example in this example clearance by filtration is about clearance by filtration is about 20 milliliter per minute milliliter per minute you after calculation he found out that it is 59 milliliter per minute that means secretion is involved because you see for secretion drugs are coming out from the capillary coming from capillary to the uh, renal tubule so for this the concentrate the amount of drug excreted per minute is going to increase 
and it it is it very easy to understand so because drag is coming so that's why it's going to be higher so it, here you have we have an example if clearance is 59 this clearance is 59 milliliter the total clearance and that my creatinine clearance in this patient is 100 milliliter per minute the free fraction is so you have to calculate now clearance by filtration clearance by filtration you use this equation we have how our you see fu which is this one and gfr is given creatinine clearance which is another thing you have to remember cclr is equal to gfr the same thing so creatinine clearance is given here you see now filtration is 20 milliliter but that means drug is eliminated only 20 milliliter by filtration but our clearance total clearance is 59 so that means secretion is involved same is true here tubular reabsorption tubular reabsorption that means uh, if you look into this tubular reabsorption what happens drug goes from tubule to the capillary so there will be a decrease so when tubular reabsorption occurs this would be this would happen the total clearance if this uh, uh, this node is showing how to figure out that uh, the tubular clearance the total clearance is less than the creatinine clearance if you do this calculation you'll see it's clr total clearance is going to be less than the clearance by due to filtration here in this case we have calculated we know that uh, clearance in this patient is creatinine clearance is this and then fraction 0.9 and then you do the calculation you see that clearance by filtration is 90 milliliter per minute but total clearance is so that means reabsorption is involved in this uh, in this drug so first you have to determine that clearance by filtration if clearance by filtration is less than the creatinine clearance that means Reabsorption involved. If clearance by filtration is more than creatinine clearance, then secretion is involved. And there are these are two equations. I'm not going to spend more time on it. Here, uh, if you have the creatinine clearance of diseased person and a normal person, you can calculate renal function. This is how you calculate just a uh, if you want to calculate renal function function in a patient of renal compromise function you just compare with the creatinine clearance of normal individual creatinine clearance of a patient and the same thing for calculation and dosing rate dosing rate you know that when clearance decreases or we know that uh, the concentration of the drug in the blood is going to increase so in this case dosing rate can also be adjusted by this equation dosing rate is a clearance of the patient clearance of normal individual this will give you and uh, how to this will give you a new dosing rate if you know the dosing rate of normal individual and then you calculate and I will show you in the class how to find out the dosing rate of a disease patient so again overall uh, what you have to remember these are the important for tomorrow's quiz name the three major mechanisms involved in drug excretion we have learned filtration secretion reabsorption and define bromular filtration rate bromular filtration rate is defined somewhere gfr We we'll go back. Creatinine clearance. Yes. Glomerular filtration rate is the rate of filtration of plasma water at glomerulus. It's called GFR. And filtration by clearance by filtration. This is the equation for clearance by filtration. And Go back 
go. And then what are the markers? Markers is R creatinine plus and inulin. We have learned only inulin. And then clearance by filtration will change in the in absence of presence of secretion and reabsorption. As I mentioned, clearance by filtration CLR is going to be greater than FU times GFR in case of secretion. And CLR is going to be smaller than clearance by filtration. In case of reabsorption and define a nomogram as I mentioned there will be three curve let's go back to the what you have to do in this case you have to draw use a ruler to draw a line connect the patient's Y to patient's age so this is age and this is patient Y to draw a line and this will intersect R the R line R so just extrapolate like this another so this will give from here you can calculate getting clearance I hope this helps these are very straightforward simple things you have to remember especially if you understand this if you know the, you know the answer to this question you should be fine for tomorrow's quiz I'll go over the material again and also with a different calculation. I hope this helps. Thank you.